what's going on y'all, Tendons for Life here. In this video we'll be discussing the ticker AITX, which stands for Artificial Intelligence Technology Solutions. This is another one of those interesting companies that is a penny stock and is on the OTC market right now. And as the name implies, Artificial Intelligence Technology Solutions, they deal heavily with robotic assistant devices which are robots that kind of help take care of the, the meaningless or overbearing type of works that humans do. And so we'll get into that a little bit later in the video, but looking at at least the one day history here, it was a pretty rough week in terms of OTC markets. And you can see in the five day, it's kind of been downtrending. And then in a month, the previous month, it was kind of up, down, up again, and then kind of went back down again. 52 week high was at $2. So if we go back a year ago, we can see it around March 5, 2020. It was at that $2 mark. Might have got a little bit higher than that, but at least closed at two. And then this was when COVID started taking place, at least in the United States, and where investors were getting a little concerned and the market just tanked after that. Not really sure if there's any other reason why they went down, but I can say that this was around that COVID-19 period, so that may have something to do with it. Now looking on the OTC market, the description for the company, not really much here, just stating that On The Move Systems is now robotic assistant devices, which again, falls under as a subsidiary to AITX. And this is the website, which we'll take a look at as well. But in terms of a good layout description, not much going on here. All right, now looking into the security details, we see that they have 5 billion authorized shares with approximately close to 3 billion outstanding shares, which again, to me is not bad for an OTC penny stock. They are currently pink. Current information appears to be verified. Looking at their financial reporting, we see that they do report to the SEC and that they are audited as well as their last report was in November 30, 2020. So they appear to be current in the reporting at this time. And now looking at the recent news events for AITX, we can see here that within the past few months that they've had at least nine release PRs according to the OTC market webpage. And if we look here, like within the past month or so, we see robotic assistant devices receives opening order from Civitas Group RADS, which is again that robotic assistive device recently signed dealer in Romania. So they're definitely branching outside of the United States. Robotic assistive devices announces that 2021 is off to a great start. And then the latest one, at least on the OTC market page, um, dated February 12, 2021, robotic assistive devices indicates that momentum for products accelerates, receives multiple orders. Let's take a look at that one real quick. And so here again under AITX, so RAD is a subsidiary under the AITX umbrella. In late January, through a press release, RAD announced new orders for their Rosa and Ava autonomous remote services solutions. We'll take a look at those in a second. Today, the company announces additional new orders and new channel partners. And then this is from the CEO we haven't talked about yet, but Steve Reinhars, if I'm saying that correctly, um, he is the CEO, founder, president of Robotic Assistant Devices and um, the CEO of AITX. It was only a few weeks ago that I commented that 2021 was off to a great start for RAD. I like to reaffirm that and say that February is on course to be remarkable for the company. So that's coming directly from the CEO. These are big steps in our goal of becoming a ubiquitous part of every facility services program and they go down to mention that they have two new authorized dealers so one is next gen security solutions oakville ontario canada so again reaching outside the united states and another one was cervexo protective services headquartered in california and so in our next paragraph since signing with rad next gen security solutions the one in ontario canada has ordered a total of five robotic assistant devices consisting of two Rosas, one Wally, and two Ava units. According to the company, the Ava units will be deployed at logistics end user in the greater Toronto area, while the Rosas will take up positions at an auto dealership and residential community. So you can kind of see the amount of flexibility these RADs have, the robotic assistant devices. So you got one 
Let's go on to an end user in a greater Toronto area for logistics. You got another one that is doing an auto dealership and residential community. And that's just a couple orders that they have. So you can imagine when AITX starts to catch fire, there may be a lot of orders coming in for a whole lot of different avenues, which can only help the business get more popular, more famous, and then just kind of like a ball going down a, a hill of snow, it just keeps building up momentum and momentum and momentum, as the article states, indicates momentum for products accelerate. And then the Southern California rad dealer placed an AVA order within the last week. So as you can see, this can be great potential for companies out there who are very interested in having robots kind of take over those meaningless tasks that humans usually either don't want to do, maybe they're sleeping on, or if they just don't want to pay a human to sit at a doorway a certain amount every hour, when they could just make a payment for a robot and then kind of have it do all the things that a human would do and kind of save them exposure of another person getting hurt and keeping it safer for the company. So overall, this is big news to AITX. Again, this is a penny stock and already Again, coming from the CEO, our physical year end is February 28, and it appears likely that this will be the best order intake month in RAD's history, in their history. So this is pretty big. There remain several significant opportunities that I expect we will close this month, this month in February. So again, stock currently down at 10.45%. It looked like a pretty rough week for OTC markets in general. So at 18 cents a share, doesn't seem like a bad time to potentially pick up some shares if you also agree with that. So here we have the website for NextGen Security Solutions. This was the company mentioned in the recent PR release from AITX, the one that was based in Ontario, Canada. If we kind of scroll down here, if you can remember, they talked about procuring a Rosa, Ava, Wally. So these are the rads that are made up in the robotic assistant devices for AITX. So if we click on one such as Rosa, and when you kind of look at the pictures, you can kind of get a gather of what these are for, right? So this kind of will give a sign saying, hey, you know, just a reminder of certain things like this one happens to say mask on, please. Security control observation tower, the Scott, Ava autonomous verified access, Romeo rugged observation assistant mobile electronic officer. So this is something like a fallout kind of theme to it. And then Wally, -E, a wall mounted version of the popular Scott device. Again, security control observation tower. And Wally, -E, name may have came from the movie um, from Wally. -E. Not really sure, but in any event, we could take a look at one of these PDFs just to get a better look at what AITX is up to. So you see here, they give a good, pretty good description of everything this can do. So devices, 180 degree field of view through dual high resolution, full color, always on digital cameras, provide 24 seven visibility and monitoring camera signs, all and all built into one. And this is just kind of a breakdown of everything. But you can see this does not appear to be some type of idea, right? Like this company actually has products that can be bought, put up, and actually put in play by different companies. So to me, this looks like a win for the AITX team. And then we can check out the next one. Let's just take a look at Ava, the autonomous verified access, see what that's about. Ava is a compact and mountable unit that seamlessly integrates all the other RAD devices and provides an edge-to-edge 180-degree -edge field of vision with advanced access control over gates and entries. Ava deploys RAD's innovative artificial intelligence-based technologies to enhance an organization's situational awareness, communication, and control. So Ava is basically anywhere that increased visibility is needed at a fraction of the cost. So a couple of things you can do, the human detection and autonomous response, vehicle detection and autonomous response, as well as multiple other neat things that it can do. And again, real life product that can be ordered, that can be placed, and not just a type of fantasy or idea, like this is actually in the making, happening right now. And then the last one I'll bring up, 
the Romeo. Looks pretty cool. Rugged Observation Assistance Mobile Electronic Officer. A fully functional mobile robot, the guarding and security industries have waited long enough for a robot that it can count on. Romeo is here. Engineered to perform, towering nearly seven feet tall and loaded with the power to traverse miles of rugged terrain autonomously before heading home to recharge. So kind of scrolling down a little more. And here you just kind of see all the information and all the cool things that the Romeo robot can do. So to me, this is definitely the future looking at this. We've all know that autonomous robots, technology, making human life easier is definitely coming. And there doesn't seem to be any slowing down to it. And AITX appears to be taking charge of that with their own rads for the near future. And here we are for the main webpage for AITX under the robotic assistant devices. They're just showing a few photos here, just kind of like a slideshow of what exactly this equipment can do for you, how it can save you on your security budget, which is a very big concern for a lot of companies out there. And then they have here client savings to date, $8,236,104, and it continues to uptick as we speak. And here are some of the places that it's featured on, so really big news places here. And there's featured products, which we've kind of looked at a little bit earlier at the other website. And then here's an example video. So there's a Romeo kind of moving around, doing his thing. I mean, really cool, unique things to look at. And then being a shareholder kind of makes you like a part of all of this. And so this is just really interesting, cutting edge technology. And again, you literally see the robot, so it's not some type of magical thinking. Like it's there, it exists, and you can see the capabilities of how it can identify certain things. And you know that can certainly make it a very useful product for businesses in terms of security protection. And then they have some like the recent news and posts. So here it looks like they have as recent as 18 February. And as we can see, it's not a very bad website. It looks like it's put together pretty well. And they have a lot of options up here that y'all can check it out on your spare time. But I want to get straight to the management team. You know, who exactly are we investing in? What are they doing for us? How are they the experts? So this is a better description than what was on the OTC market description. Driven by passion for artificial intelligence, robotic assistant devices mission is to deliver artificial intelligence-based solutions that empower organizations to solve complex challenges while delivering immediate return on investment. What company doesn't want to hear that, right? Our company was founded on the belief that next-generation solutions can help organizations streamline operations, increase return on investment, and strengthen businesses. RAD technology improves the simplicity and economics of patrolling and guard services. So patrolling and guard services, again, security, and allows experienced personnel to focus on more strategic tasks. Customers augment the capabilities of existing staff and gain higher levels of situational awareness, all at drastically reduced costs. So again, robotic assistant devices. They get that augmentation of the robots to help the human. And then at the same time, they're getting a drastically reduced cost and higher levels of situation awareness with a robot versus a human. Dedicated service. So these are the great things they provide. So 24 seven support and service no matter your location. We offer multiple service options, including web, phone, on-site, or remote support. And then experience team, when you choose a RAD solution, you can trust that our highly dedicated support professionals will be there to help you each and every step of the way. And then what we'll be seeing as well, technology leaders, built by a team of security and robotic technology leaders with more than 100 years combined industry management experience. So here we are with the leadership team. We have Steve Reinhardt, who's the founder and CEO, we also have these other gentlemen here who are very experienced in peers and help in each of their strategic fields. And then the RADS Board of Advisors. This impressive assembly of security, industry, tech, startup, and finance leaders is an endorsement of RADS business model, 
and the competency of the company's management team. And if we look here, look at everyone that is involved with RADS, again, which is a subsidiary to AITX. And we can just keep scrolling on and on and all these individuals seem to be pretty experienced in some type of way related to the robotic device industry or security or guarding and all that stuff. And uh, Steve Reinhardt, you know, we'll look at him a little bit more in a second, but he appears to be a pretty well-balanced leader CEO for this company. So I, I do feel like AITX is in pretty good hands with this leadership team. And here we are at the AITX Twitter page. And again, we're looking for companies that are typically pretty active on their Twitter. We see here February 15th was one of their most recent posts. Robotic Assistant Devices advertises in USA Today. I mean, that sounds pretty awesome right there. Some of these other ones we've kind of already seen throughout their news feed, but needless to say that they are using their Twitter account and staying somewhat current on it. As you can see, they're, they're memeing it up as well, um, which is kind of nice touch from the company. And then not only does AITX have its own Twitter page, but the CEO himself, Steve Reinhardt, also has a Twitter page, which has more followers than the AITX page. And as you can see, also staying very current on it. Here's one to investors actually about 12 hours ago. To our AITX investors, you're awesome. You know the business, you share real info, you shoot down pumps, and you're excited for future because you're informed. So a big thing about this CEO as well is that he does not want this company to become a pump and dump. He knows that that's not good for business. He does not try to endorse any type of pumping at all. And he literally put it in his conversation here. You shoot down pumps. That's talking to us as investors, not pump and dump in the stock. And again, we can see that he is pretty current on this in terms of posting, which is great to see not only for the company, but also that the CEO is involved in kind of getting the word out about their products. And here's a nice little video at the California office where they're showing some of their products on live display. And here is the CEO of AITX who had an interview, what appears to be with like the Central Illinois news station. And then I just kind of want you all to listen to this for the next minute to see what his thoughts are about the company in terms of investors and where it's headed to. So see what you think about this video. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, for those who haven't heard of AITX, what do the robots you create do? What we've done is we've fused artificial intelligence with robotics and a variety of different services in order to perform important tasks typically done by humans, but can now be done by our services at a fraction of the cost. This allows more services to be delivered to more people because of those economics. Now we know that there's some talk, uh, Steve, that you guys should shoot, could soon be on the NASDAQ. Now what would that mean for the company and what's that timeline looking like? Well, the first step is going to be to move from the OTC pinks to the QB, and I expect to do that sometime in the next several months. From there, I want to see where we're at in terms of our growth trajectory, in terms of our financing, in terms of our uptick. Those will be the factors that will allow me to determine what's in the shareholders' best interest and what's the timing for the move to NASDAQ. Is the move to NASDAQ in our future? I believe it is. Timing, we'll have to see. Sure. And if and so if y'all picked up on that, he was talking about transitioning from the OTC pinks to the OTC QB, which is a venture market. If you're not familiar with OTC at all, it's kind of like the mid tier of the OTC stock world. It is definitely a good sign coming from OTC pink to OTC QB. But then he also mentioned that he feels confident that his company will be taken to the NASDAQ level. When we're looking at this company, they already have the product, it's already in place. They have a very good board of directors, a lot of experience in the game, subject matter experts that appear to know what they're doing and plan to move forward. So in my mind, I definitely believe they can hit the OTC QB and I'm sure they can also hit the NASDAQ as well. Of course, time will tell. But the point of this video was showing you that there is some future catalyst that can be coming down the line. And as the CEO said, it doesn't sound like it's going to happen anytime soon. It may take a while, but they're definitely thinking in that direction, likely to make some big moves in the future.
on our stock twits. Looks like they appear to have 27,983 watchers, so soon to be 28,000. So this company is becoming pretty well known. The buzz is getting out there. And again, it is still in the penny stocks, currently trading at 18 cents a share. So what are your thoughts on AITX? Will this company be able to win you over? Will you be investing in them come Monday? All I can say is that I think this company does have some pretty good value. Um, a disclaimer, of course, that I am invested in this company. I do have shares. I am a shareholder. But I am not one to try to pump up a company by any means. I just do my due diligence, let y'all take a look at it, decide for yourself what you think. But in my mind, in my opinion, I believe this company is going places. I believe they're already gone places. And I do think they have a lot of room to move up into the market. So it wouldn't surprise me if maybe in like a year or two later we see them on the NASDAQ. But of course, I'm not a time teller. I don't know what's going to happen in the future of this company. But I believe that they definitely have a type of need out there that a lot of companies are looking for. And so we, as we kind of reviewed earlier, their products can be used in a lot of different locations to help out a lot of people. At the same time, their overall thought is to help save the company money. So if you believe that robots are the future, you believe that technology is the future, then it would make sense that you would also think this company is good. So that completes my due diligence on AITX. Hopefully y'all liked the video. If you did, I greatly appreciate a subscription from you and a thumbs up. That kind of helps the channel grow a little bit more and I will definitely be putting out more videos in the future. Until then, I'll see ya.